So everyone, in this video, I just want to say, when we use the words, I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this, that it, it's okay to say this, but sometimes um, it, we're being realistic with ourselves and thinking, okay, well, I'm not very good at doing this, or maybe in the past I haven't been very successful, and as a result, I'm going to try, but I don't feel very confident that I'm going to succeed. <laughs> Alternatively, we can say, I'm going to do this. Okay, so it's not wrong or debilitating to say, I'm going to try. Because sometimes you can succeed when you do that, but you're just sort of mixing in with realism, or at least realism from your past, based on past results. But what we can do now is tr try to feel, it's very funny using the word try, isn't it? Just, I just said it there. Try to feel, and we can succeed with practice. It's, it's okay to say these words. And so I could say I sh you should, as long as you don't really deep down mean it like you should do this. Um, but you could say, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, or I'm gonna, yeah, just so I'm gonna do it. And that'll muster more confidence, so we want to try to muster more confidence, that's what I was going to say and to feel like more dedicated to our intentions. So it's related to intentions. That's what trying or wishing to do something. It's about our desires and our vision. So we want to, we want to know our vision and the results. We want to get clear on what we're going to get out of something. So we're, we're trying to manifest stuff and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to give up things or to implement new things or to do hard work sometimes or just more work. It could, be, it could be anything, like loads of stuff, millions of things, losing weight, diet change, diet improvements, giving up unhealthy stuff, like doing exercise, writing a book, starting a business, uh, relationship improvements. So you're trying to give up bad habits, so to speak, and bring in new stuff that gives you the results that you want. So I think it is very powerful sometimes to try to give up a little bit saying, I'm going to try, and start being more dedicated and serious and intent about saying, I'm going to do this, I, I, I am going to do this, and even if you fail, that's okay, it's okay to use the word fail, it's okay to fail, it's okay to say these words, but as long as, like like, like the word should, as long as you don't um, feel it deep down on a sort of very serious or heavy or low vibrational or like very emotional place, like as if you failed, that's like not a true belief, so it's not true and it'll happen to feel bad because it's not true. So, so you don't really fail. All you do is like get up and you get down. You get fall down. You get back up. It's simple as that. And every time you you fail, you succeed because you've learned. You've gained a very, very, very like an invaluable experience. It's like can't be measured with value. So valuable. You've learned an experience. You've experienced something that's very, very important to experience for you and you've learned along the way and when Edison was said like how did you how do you feel failing to make the light bulb a billion times he said haha I didn't fail I succeed I learned every single time a way not to do it <laughs> it was probably maybe a thousand times or more I don't know <laughs> and he didn't really punch anybody as far as I know <laughs> and the most successful basketball player ever Michael Jordan he failed as much or more than anybody else in missing hoops but he happened to also he missed like the last shot to win the game loads of times. He did loads of fa failures, but he succeeded to be the best. It's all about practice. They say if you want to succeed and become amazing, like a master or something, practice like 10,000 times. And I find this true, be it for handstands that like I practice in the garden, like be it for fitness, you got to run a lot of steps, do a lot of stretching, that type of thing. Sport or spiritual, like being good at life or learning to be good at relationships. It just simply boils down to being good at something, even if it's relationships. You just gotta learn, make mistakes and learn, that's all. Practice, try new things, and listen and learn. You have to keep really listening and learning in relationships. And in life, to evaluate, metaphorically look and listen at your life and see what's going on and where you're going wrong. So, I'll leave you with that video for now. It's such a beautiful day here in Ireland today. It's very nice, and the birds are chirping, it's so beautiful. So that's why I was trying to make the video out here. So, is there anything else to say on that topic? Not really. So, I hope this has been a help and I send you love and best wishes for your 
miraculous, spectacular journey through life. And I hope you have a great day. Okay. Bye everybody. Peace. 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 Amazingness and love. Okay. <laughs> okay bye. Hey everyone. <laughs> Hello little putty witty kitty. Kitty kitty kitty. You're on YouTube. Say good morning to everybody. Say hello.